Yeah. Any so the guys are excited to start zero and zero. Feels like kind of a clean slate going into the conference tournament. Yeah, that's that's been the message to our guys is uh, you know everything that happened over the course of the regular season is thrown out right now, and, and all of us are uh, going in with an opportunity, and we're zero and zero. And, you know, we played this team twice, obviously, going back to the first time, uh, all the way back our first Big Ten game on the road uh, back in December. And, you know, I thought we played one of our more complete games of the season. Uh, where they beat us in that game was on the glass. Uh, they're very long and athletic and uh, have great size across the board. So, you know, for us to go out and have a chance in this one, we're going to have to do a better job. Uh, on the glass, we're going to have to get back in transition, and we're going to have to take great care of the basketball. Uh, the home game against Indiana, we got off to a great start, had a nine-point lead about midway through the first quarter. Uh, they went on a run on us, and we came back and had a chance to cut it to two with a three-pointer uh, with about 20 seconds left. So, uh, you know, we played uh, two good games uh, against them. Obviously, we're different right now than we were uh, at those two times, uh, battling with, with seven guys, uh, you know, but... They're giving me everything I can ask of them right now, going out and playing with effort. i got to do a better job of getting them in and out of the rotation, start the rotations earlier, and hopefully be a little fresher down the stretch. Uh, no updates. Uh, Cam's dealing with a personal matter right now back home, and uh, you know, that, that's all I'll say about that at this time. Uh, we wish him all the best and respect his privacy at this time. Uh, you know, as far as Deshaun, he and I did meet yesterday. Uh, you know, we, we agreed about him really focusing on academics right now. Uh, you know, I'll meet with Deshaun on Monday, as I'll meet with all of our players, uh, which we'll do with an after-the-season meeting. So, um, yeah, just you know, as far as where we are right now, we're going to go in with the same seven. Uh, we're looking at a couple other things. I'll have an update on that here uh, in a little bit. But, uh, you know, again, guys are going out there, the seven, four of them are freshmen. And, you know, first opportunity to go out and play in a conference tournament like this. Uh, and hopefully we play with great effort. So will I let those guys travel to Indy? They will not travel, no. When you say update, you mean taking somebody else? Or what's the? Uh, potentially. We're, we're looking, uh, looking at, at, an, at an option right now. So I'll let you know on that. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But, yeah, we'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't have any. Do you, want to <laughs> you can't come. See, that was my option. Damn. Is there anything the Big Ten's communicating with you guys, or that you guys are doing specifically with uh, coronavirus and everything that that's going on with that? Uh, I know there's been at least one tournament's been canceled. Yeah, I just heard about that. Uh, no, we have not heard anything uh, from the league as far as anything is uh, uh, concerning the coronavirus. Um, you know, it sounds like the Ivy League has taken the step to uh, cancel their tournament, uh, but no, we have not heard anything from the league. Or just rebounding, going back to kind of what you said about Indiana, they kind of punched you guys on the glass the first time. With the success that Ivan had last Sunday at home against Northwestern and then winning the rebounding <coughs> battle against Michigan, do you feel like you guys are taking big steps to win the glass battle? We're, we're getting, we're, we are getting better. Um, there's, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, free throw shooting since the Northwestern game has been the best uh, that it's been all year. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we're going to have to go out and play a perfect game. And, you know, our, our guys, uh, you know, when we do have movement, we do share the ball. Uh, we've had good possessions. You know, look at that Minnesota game. It's 29 to 25, and we missed three layups, uh, really uncontested, and three wide open threes. And, you know, it's 15 potential points that we leave off the board. And on those layups, a lot of times what happens is uh, your floor balance is out of whack. You know, a guy falls down when they're going in. Uh, to try to get that uh, shot at, in the restricted area, and that hurts your transition defense, and that's where Minnesota really got going and built that double-digit lead on us and really took control of the game uh, heading into halftime. So, you know, it's going to take uh, us, you know, finishing the easy ones when they're there. And, and as the defense collapses, we need to do a much better job at kicking the ball out. I thought we had good spacing, uh, but we didn't make the right play uh, a lot of times and, and took uh, too many hero-type shots. You know, you have to make the play when it's there. It was a big emphasis in practice today. We watched a lot of film uh, when we're missing those opportunities. So hopefully we go out uh, and finish the ones uh, when we create them. That's, that's going to be important in this game tomorrow night. Thank you, guys. Thanks,